Hello, everyone here post game from Oracle Park, managed by Black. We will go ahead and get started here as soon as possible. If you have a question for Buddy, raise your hand. We'll be going. <coughs> Ed Henderson, why don't you lead us off? Hey, Buddy, a lot to like tonight. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, Ed. It's a good win. Buddy, uh, First of all, in terms of the offense tonight, a lot of guys jumping in and particularly fun to watch the late inning activity really on both sides. Well, yeah, hard, uh, runs were a little hard to come by middle part of the game. We got uh, the two in the first, and they got the one. Then the pitching settled in a little bit. Uh, they scraped another one against Chi Chi, then the solo homer uh, by Crawford. But, you know, all in all, I thought, I thought we had decent at-bats, Ed. I thought, uh, you know, we drew some walks probably our highest walk total of the year. Uh, you know, our hits were down, but, uh, you know, overall, I thought the quality of the at-bats were okay for the most part. And some big swings late. I mean, big swing by Mac to the biggest part of the park uh, here in San Francisco. Crone, opposite field. You don't see that uh, many right-handed hitters do that. Uh, so that's real power. Uh, you know, Hampson, obviously, against McGee, uh, who's off to a good start uh, as their closer. Straight away center field, squared that one up. Uh, there was a lot of good things uh, as the game moved along for sure. Buddy, nice to see Charlie having some success tonight as well. Yeah, a couple knocks for Charlie. Uh, the two ribbies there in the first, that was good to see. Hopefully that's a jump start for Chuck. And then lastly for me, Buddy, what I was particularly gratified to see on the pitching side tonight, just one walk issued the entire game. Yeah, we, we pitched aggressive. I thought Chi Chi had a, a tremendous uh, ball strike ratio, uh, as you guys know. Uh, we attacked, I thought. Uh, you know, Givens, uh, Stevenson, Bowden, uh, Bard, uh, Stevez. Uh, you know, we went at him. It was good to see. It was aggressive pitch. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thomas Harding. Uh, yes, buddy. Um, McMahon has seemed to have very calm at bats and just doesn't try to do too much. You know, he's had eight home runs, first time in a win. What is it like to see him rewarded for, you know, just all he's done to get to where he is? Well, I thought he had good at-bats last night uh, as well. Drew a couple walks or a couple walks against the Phillies. Uh, you know, I think the, you know, the overall uh, at-bats have been pretty good the last four or five days. And, you know, we're seeing more aggressiveness uh, early in the count. We're seeing him, you know, rip at some fastballs, uh, you know, overall, you know, it's, you know, it's coming together for Mac. You know, we've talked about this for a couple of years. It takes time, but, uh, you know, Mac is, you know, I think in a place uh, moving forward, which is a, which is a good thing. I'm um, also with Charlie to see him stay with a couple pitches and drive them to the opposite gap. Um, what does that tell you about where he is? Right well, I think Charlie had a plan tonight to, you know, to stay on the ball, not to pull off it. Uh, I know uh, later in the game, he pulled, uh, pulled off a ball and hit it to the right side uh, on the ground. But, you know, those two swings were, uh, I think, you know, part of Charlie's game where, you know, he can look for the ball away and, and drive it that way. So uh, that was good to see. I think he executed a plan tonight and, you know, we'll see where this goes tomorrow, but, uh, you know, Charlie has, you know, that capability to use the opposite field gap, like you mentioned. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. Hello, Patrick Saunders. Hey, buddy. I think uh, most, most of my questions have been answered, but uh, the play Daza made in left when you moved him over to left, that was, that was a pretty important running catch, wasn't it? No doubt. That was critical. Uh, he's a good defender, and we talked about him the other day, Patrick, I believe, about the, you know, the breaks and the routes. He had a good jump on the ball and a direct line to the, uh, you know, to the ball. So uh, he's a good defender. You know, that's something that uh, obviously in player development, uh, you know, we were made aware of. Uh, he, you know, he continues to be a steady outfielder wherever we put him, left, center, or right. And that was a big play. You know, defense at times can be underrated, uh, you know, in, in big league games. Uh, we talk so much about offense and, run production from from the offensive side but you know defense I think I think is it was coming back a little bit into into vogue uh, you know around baseball how encouraging was it from your point of view that you know Hampy hits the 
the blast to put you up and then then they get it right back. But you guys immediately responded with the two big hits. I mean, sometimes that's not easy to rally and after it's you not. think you've won and then you <clears throat> You know, you're right, especially on the road, right in a in a in a pitcher's park that you know runs are hard to come by uh, most of the time. But our guys didn't get down, right, Patrick. Our guys, uh, you know, stayed energized in the in the dugout. Uh, you know, Bardo, uh, you know, worked his way out of a situation there in the in the bottom of the ninth, and and the guys came in off the field, and and the guys who were on the bench, the pitchers, and the backup players, uh, you know, responded with a, a great deal of encouragement to. You know, stay at it, and the and the guys did obviously with with Mac and Crone. But uh, again, that can be a blow. Uh, that can be a, a psychological blow, especially when you fight hard for nine innings, and uh, you know you get a big hit, and then they come right back and and get it done. And almost uh, again with guys on first and second, with one of their hottest hitters up, uh, you know Bardo got belt. But that was good to see our guys. That's what our guys do, Patrick. Our our, our guys are. Uh, are solid in that way with a pretty good mental, uh, you know, frame of mind all the time to battle. And we saw that tonight. Thank Thanks, buddy. I'm right, going to have Larry Patrick and then finish up with Noah. Larry, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Uh, you know, struggling so far this season, you know, on the road, getting that big win uh, tonight. And also pretty important because of, against a division rival. Agree. Uh, we've had, you know, tough losses on the road. Uh, close games, Larry, as you know, uh, a pitch here or there, uh, a big knock here or there. Tonight we got the big knocks. We got it from Hampson. We got it from McMahon. We got it from Crone. Uh, you know, earlier in the game we had a couple shots and we didn't get the big hit. Uh, you know, we got to get the big hit when, when we have the opportunity. It hasn't come so far on the road. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, moving forward we'll get more and we'll make a pitch, uh, you know, to keep the game in our favor. But that was a good one. Uh, there's a lot of road games left. Uh, you know, time will tell uh, how we do, but I know the fight in this club. Uh, we're going to stay at it. And we'll get our share. If we pitch well, we'll get our share. It's highly unusual in San Francisco late at night, you know, the cold coming off the ocean uh, for balls to fly out like that. Was there something different going on? Not really. You know, I, you know, if you've ever been out here, usually around 9, 45, 10 o'clock, the wind dies down. You know, the birds come in to uh, snack on, uh, you know, some of the food that might be in the ballpark. But, uh, you know, over the years, my four years here and come as a player at, at Candlestick and then coming here as a coach and a manager, uh, you know, late in the game, uh, right around 10 o'clock, the wind dies down. Okay. Thank you, buddy. All right. We'll finish up with Noah. Hey, bud. Uh, most of my other questions were asked, so I'm going to kind of end it, end it on a downer um, with – Hilliard and Fuentes, obviously, they struggled a bit at the plate today, um, and they've struggled for most of the season. Um, what did you see out of them today that may give you a little bit of hope going forward, even though they didn't get the hits? Yeah, you're right. I, you know, again, we talk about the, you know, the 12 uh, position player group, and it would be really nice to have all 12 guys swing the bat well. You know, that means you're, you're getting a lot of offense, you're scoring runs. Uh, guys' batting averages are up. Uh, you know, everything's Camelot. That's not the case in baseball. It's very rare that you have 12 position players all swinging the bat and playing great. Uh, you know, Sam and, and Josh are in, are in a, a, one of those downturns where they're not swinging. Again, the, the aggressiveness is there. Uh, they're, they're going to into that. They're at bat, uh, you know, with a, with a plan to, you know, see a good pitch to hit and take a, take a rip at it. Uh, they might be a little overly aggressive at times. Uh, you know, that's probably the case with Josh. I think with Sam, uh, there's a little bit of frustration and, you know, swinging through balls and swinging through pitches. And, you know, for, uh, you know, really know a lesser service time players, right? You look at the number of at bats that Josh has in the big leagues, uh, you know, probably, you know, just now over 200 at bats. Uh, Sam, you know, probably right in that neighborhood as well. Uh, you know, a lot of times, and, you know, I've said this over the, you know, the past few, uh, past few weeks about young players or lesser service time players. You know, a lot of times it takes a thousand to 1500 at bats to really understand the major league game. 
and uh, you know those guys have a ways to go to get there. So it's baptism under fire for a lot of our players, and uh, and you're witnessing it. Okay, got to go. Thanks. Thank yep. you, buddy. We're going to have Chicha Gonzalez for you immediately if you want to raise your hands now. All right, we'll go ahead and start off with Patrick Saunders. Patrick, go ahead. Hi, Chi Chi. Nice performance tonight. Uh, your your ball strike ratio was pretty remarkable. I think I have it as 58 pitches, 48, 46 strikes. What were you doing that you were able to attack the zone so well tonight and just really hone in on that? Yeah, um, that was just the plan. Plan was just to attack the guys. Just to repeat what I was doing in the bullpen. I had a great warm up. Um, I was throwing a lot of strikes in the bullpen and pen prior as well. Um, so I mean, that's that's got to be my game plan always: is get those guys in swing mode, uh, so I can throw perimeter pitches and and get good results. What was your pitch mix tonight? Uh, what was working the best for you? Uh, the, for sure, the cutter and the slider. Uh, the change of speeds of them. Uh, it made my fastball that much better. Uh, yeah, these guys were uh, aggressive early and it helped me out too as well. Um, you know, coming into the game with two run lead uh, makes it a little easier as well uh, to attack the guys. And But that was a plan from the beginning was to, uh, you know, get, get early outs, early contact so I could last as long as I could in the game. You had not pitched for, for a while because your last start was, was uh, passed over. Did you have any thought that, wow, I might be just a tad rusty? Or did you get enough side work that, that you just felt strong and fresh coming into tonight? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to stay as focused as I can uh, day to day. Um, so that's my plan daily is just to repeat what I've been doing. Um, starts with catch play and, and your daily routine, but um, you know you, you never want to think that way. Uh, give yourself excuses. So, I mean, I learned from last year. You know, I had a uh, long time uh, skip start, and you know, not, it was in the bullpen, didn't get to throw. Uh, so you learn from last year. You know, you stay within yourself, um, and you just repeat your delivery. That's what I was able to do today. Thank you, Chichi. I'll go to Thomas Hardy. Yeah, Chi Chi, the first inning may not have been quite ideal as far as your pitch count in the beginning of a game, but you got more efficient after that. Did you make an adjustment after the first? Uh, yeah, I definitely got the ball down. Uh, I was up in the zone that first inning, uh, so we were able to barrel up some balls. Uh, but that's what these guys do. They, they try to get after you that first inning from the Stella and down the order. Um, but yeah. After that first inning, they shook me up a little bit, but I was able to hone down and make some good pitches when I needed them. How big was it to come out and give your team a good start tonight? I know it was going to be a tight game throughout, but after you know starting off 0-7 on the road and last night, how important was it to kind of um, stop some momentum on their part and get some momentum for you? Oh, yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Uh, that was a job. That was my plan coming in. You know, We used arms last or yesterday. Um, you know, Gumber didn't have his best start. Uh, so, you know, I felt uh, initiative and uh, some pride in to take the game, this game, and, you know, try to go as long as I could. Um, yeah, I was, I was okay with the pitch count, uh, but I had a long inning. Uh, hopefully the umpire's okay. Uh, but, yeah, that long inning kind of was a decision maker from Bud to uh, get into the pen. But, I mean, everyone else after that did a great job from uh, – you know, Bowden to uh, Robertson, or excuse me, uh, Stephenson, Robert, and and so on, you know, Kesty coming in, closing the door. Uh, 
uh, you know, we had great, great innings out of the bullpen as well. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Thanks. I got a Danielle on the last one. What's that clubhouse like right now? I think we could hear some screaming in the background. Yeah, it's, it's fun. I mean, we're having, we're having great fun, uh, win or lose. You know, we know it's baseball and we get another data opportunity to compete. Um, it's a good clubhouse, a good, good teammates. Everybody's pulling for each other. Um, you know, very communicative. Uh, and we're enjoying it as we're doing it. What's that celebration like right now, I met? Uh, we get, we every game that we win, we do a little uh, player of the game. And today, Mac won it with his uh, deep shot. I thought he was going to hit Barry Bonds' uh, little statue thing out there, but it was deep enough. Uh, but yeah, we got that momentum. I mean, uh, Garrett uh, Garrett as well came in. I mean, we just played good ball right at the end. Thank you. All right, thank you, Chuchi. I think that's all we have. Thanks. Everyone will get to uh, Ryan McMahon here momentarily. All right, everyone, go ahead and get started with Ryan McMahon, Patrick Sunder. Hey, Ryan, Matt. Uh, can you take us through your uh, your bat in the tenth? I mean, you you crushed that. I'm sure you knew it right away, but just take us through the the pitch and how it felt, etc. Yeah, uh, you know, kind of looking at the guy in the dugout, watching the video and everything like that. Um, he had a little cut action on, on most of his stuff, and his four heater was or four seamer was pretty hot. Um, so I was honestly, man, I was going up there trying to get a good pitch, trying to get on top of it. And honestly, I was trying to pull it just because kind of all this stuff was coming into me. Um, we got really aggressive that first pitch, swing it, pr probably a pitch that I shouldn't have swung at. Um, but felt good, felt good with how I was moving and then just made sure that I got back to the middle plate and, uh, he made a mistake and I didn't miss it. 
you've had some some big homers in the past. I can remember the night a couple of years back against the Dodgers, et cetera. Uh, but Thomas remarked earlier to Buddy that it seems like you're just really comfortable and calm at the plate right now. Not a lot of excess movement, et cetera. Do, do you feel like you're in that place? Yeah, uh, you know, that's something I've worked hard to uh, to be able to do. So that feels good that, uh, you know, you guys are noticing that and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of my goal. And I think that that's how I get my swing off the best. And one more for me in the, uh, I'm looking at my score sheet here, the fifth bases loaded, you ran back to the pitcher. I could tell you were pissed off. Yeah. Uh, how good did it feel to, I mean, not that that's a cardinal sin or anything, but to be able to come back and hit a home run in the 10th and lift you guys to victory, that must have felt good. Yeah, no, I mean, you were spot on, man. I was frustrated with myself. Um, I felt like I expanded. Um, he made a good pitch, but should have been smart enough to know that he was going to try to do something like that and uh, expanded. And, you know, I felt like that was a big situation for us. And obviously, you know, we've been struggling on the road a little bit and we want to get a win. So definitely felt good to come back later and uh, help the team out. Great. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thomas Harding. Brian, I missed your first few words of this, but I wanted to just check with you. What is it like to now, which is just an oddity, homer in a win for the Rockies? <laughs> yeah, it's nice, right? I think, yeah, I, all my other ones, right? We lost, I think, those games. But yeah, it's, it's fun. You know, it's, it's fun to play well and have your team win. Uh, you know, it's just, just how it is. It's no fun playing well and, you know, the team losing and everybody being in a bad mood. So uh, this one felt good for sure. Yeah, and with you, um, we're seeing some we're seeing some walks here, which a lot of times when you you do hit for power, you want to be able to also do that. Do you feel like you are changing the book on yourself as far as how pitchers are attacking you and and keeping up with the adjustments? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, obviously, there's always going to be you know a book out there. Pitchers are always going to think uh, you know that they can get you out a certain way. Um, you know, and I think I'm doing a good job of, uh, the pitch is close to, you know, whatever their book is on me. I think that I can handle those. So, I'm um, feeling good about what I'm doing at the plate and, uh, feeling good about my approach. Um, the thing I asked you about, you know, home run, home runs in a win, is that something that the teammates noticed, uh, when you guys were in the, in the, um, clubhouse celebrating? Um, I don't know if they noticed, you know, we do, oh, I forgot my chain. Um, uh, I just realized <laughs> I got player of the game guys first time uh, ever. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um. No, you know, I don't think they noticed, but I definitely noticed, uh, you know, it, it, it didn't feel good. I mean, obviously I was happy I was hitting home runs, but hitting them in wins uh, definitely feels a hundred times better. So wait a second, you are tied for the major league league lead in home runs. And this is your first time getting the chain. Um, we had the chain last year too, and I didn't get it last year either. So uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is an exciting day for me. Okay. So just to make sure on the chain, it only comes out when you win, right? Yes. Yeah. Only when you win. Uh, and then, yeah, you pick a player of the game. Okay, good. So I guess uh, hitting a home run in a win, getting a chain, it's a nice night for you out there in San yep. Francisco. Yep, good day for me. All right, Ryan. Hey, thank you much. Yeah. We'll go to Danielle Allentuck. Danielle, go ahead. Hey, Ryan. Charlie's had a rough couple of weeks to start the season. Um, just how good was it to see him get a couple hits tonight? Yeah, it was big for us. Obviously, that one in the first inning, especially after last night, uh, come out there, put up couple runs early. That was huge. Um, I'm trying to remember his other one. I know he hit it hard again. Um, but yeah, I mean, just for Chuck, he's, he's such a pro. You wouldn't even know like day-to-day -day interactions with him or anything like that. You would have no idea, you know, that he's not, you know, doing or playing to his standards or, or anything like that. He's a, he's a pro. He shows up every day and uh, is the exact same. So it's good. Good to see though, for sure. And those screams we heard about 10, 15 minutes ago, was that when you got player of the game? The, the what? Sorry. The, the screams we heard a couple, uh, about 10 minutes ago, was that when they handed you to Jane? Yeah, probably. I was, I don't, I don't even really remember what happened. I just kind of started yelling. I was really excited. <laughs> Thank you. We got uh, Ryan Long. Ryan, go ahead. Yes, uh, Ryan, I know it's only a, a one win on the road, but you guys had, you know, had this over for so long. I mean, how much does that kind of help kind of get the monkey off your back and maybe this can lead to some, some uh, a road winning streak for you guys? Yeah, man. First one's the hardest one, right? Um, you know, once you get it, it kind of just starts flowing. Uh, we've been playing good baseball lately. So, you know, hopefully we keep that going, uh, you know, come back tomorrow and try to get a serious win. All right, we go to Larry Patrick. Yes, Ryan, you know, uh, 
two years ago there when you had the, like the 25 home runs and, you know, we kind of expect, you know, uh, and knowing about your power, but it, it's got to be gratifying when you see a guy like Hampson come up and power one over the center field fence there in the ninth inning. Yeah, that was huge, man. He came up, came into the game against a guy who's been really good this year and Jake McGee. Um, and you got a swing off man and he, he crushed that one. That's, it's not an easy spot in this place to hit a home run for sure. So it's big for him. That was uh, huge for us as a team too. Well, it's not, uh, you know, it turns out there because, you know, the Giants scored a run in the bottom of the ninth. Will you at least let him touch your chain? Yeah. Yeah. We'll share it. We'll share it. <laughs> okay. Thanks Ryan. Hey Ryan, um, for I was going to ask you about the uh, chain and the celebration. Um, got a little bit out of that, but um, what else do you guys do in the clubhouse other than award the chain for celebrations like that? Yeah, I'll give you a little breakdown. So we come in, uh, you know, we've got like a win song. I don't know exactly what uh, which song it is, but it's a good song. Gets everybody going. I know the words. I just I don't know. I'd have to hear the beat. But anyway, uh, then Chuck gets up there. Kind of talks about you know who did well like honorable mention tonight was Chi Chi Hamp um, and I think yeah I think just those two but yeah so let me do that and then uh, then we say the player of the game and turn the music up really loud and just kind of jump around and celebrate a little bit. So probably because the music was so loud and you guys were all jumping around that's why you didn't remember much of what happened. <laughs> yeah yeah kind of blacked out that's for sure. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. All right Thomas do you have a couple more questions? Yes, um, things have been kind of tough for this team this year. I mean, we, we talked about the road record. Also, you guys have had a change at the front office. Um, the, does this mean a little bit more to kind of get some normalcy back as far as uh, your ball club and being on the road and just playing baseball is concerned? Yeah, um, you know, it, it, it probably does. Um, you know, there's there's been some stuff happening and everything like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're going out there playing baseball, man, and you know, wins, wins are hard to come by in the big league, so they should be celebrated. Yes, and um, also, uh, Chuck, can you kind of explain what he's been to you guys in there this year? I know that, uh, you know, he's talked about taking more of a leadership role, and yeah. it looks like he, li he kind of likes you guys. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think Chuck likes us. Um, I, you know, I, I at least act towards him like he likes me so um but anyway he's he's just a great guy man I'm he's he's talking a lot more he's I mean he's the guy at the end of the day kind of breaking down the game and everything like that in front of the team uh you know when we do the player of the game and stuff and he's just I'm, he's a great guy man I've, I've really enjoyed my time with him and I think he's really helped shape shape who I am as a baseball player and as he struggled um has he come to you are there things that you're able to say to him to maybe kind of pay him back help him out in this um, I wish um, Chuck Chuck is is very good at what he does. Uh, he knows his swing very well. Um, you know, I think he's just kind of grinding through the feel of it, the feel of getting it off and everything like that. But I mean, if you look at him, man, he's he's got a great swing, and I mean, he's gonna he's gonna break through like usual. I'm guessing any day. All hopefully, right. hopefully that was the start of it. All right, beautiful. Thanks, Ryan. Yep. All right, I think that's all the questions we have. Thank you, Ryan. All right, thanks, guys. Everyone, hang tight. We're gonna get you Garrett Hampson right now. If you want to raise your hands with Garrett. All right, we'll go ahead and jump right in with Garrett here. Noah, you want to start us off? Hey, Garrett. Uh, obviously, you came in late into the game, but you still had two hits. Can you describe what pitches you saw up there and how you ended up getting the hits? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, McGee there just saw three fastballs in a row, and he, he uh, put a good swing on a fastball down the middle. Um, and then uh, the second one, first pitch slider. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thomas Harding. Yes. Um. First of all, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yep. Okay. Great. All right. Secondly, um, <clears throat> for you guys to get this win on the road, I know that we've talked about it a lot, and when the Rockies struggle on the road, it's almost ad nauseum. But to see your you guys get off that kind of schneid on the road, what did it mean? Yeah, it was big. Um, obviously, the first road trip, we didn't we didn't get any wins, and and that's tough always. Uh, it was just a big game, you know, <clears throat> they, they, 
they did what they needed to do to tie it in the ninth. Um, and to be able to come out on top in the extras was, was, was really big with, uh, you know, Mac and Crone with just two huge swings. So it was a good win. We're, we were pumped about it. And uh, it's just a good, good, good team win. And to, uh, for, for you, the last couple of home runs have been in late close ball games. Um, what, what kind of confidence does that give you, especially in these pinch hit situations? Yeah, I mean, that's just fun. I, I think everybody, everybody could say the same that, you know, those are the favorite homers, the ones that, that put the team in front or, or maybe a big homer late in the game. Um, you know, those, those are what you play for. Those are, those are the, the most fun for sure. Just uh, trying to contribute and, and, you know, coming through for the, for the guys is, is the best part of it. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah. Patrick Saunders. Hey, Derek, just real quick for me. Uh, we all know the, that uh, Jake McGee is a fastball guy. That's no secret. But your familiarity with him, he was with you as a teammate for quite some time. Does that give you any extra, not an advantage necessarily, but, you know, knowing you faced him before, et cetera, in practice and stuff, does that help at all? in a game situation or not? Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, you, you, you face them in spring training or, you know, live VPs here and there, uh, you know, when you're teammates, but I think, you know, it's no secret, you know, what, what, uh, Jake is going to throw. He's got a really good fastball and, uh, there's a reason why he throws it a lot. Right. So it's, I think that is more important than, you know, maybe being familiar with, with him being teammates, but, uh, you know, he, uh, I, I just put a good swing on, on one. It wasn't anything other than that. And one more for me, um, Brian McMahon is having a terrific early part of the year, uh, eight home runs already. Um, how, how good do you guys feel for Ryan Mac and what he's doing? Cause I know you guys are all real tight and how good does it feel for him? It's awesome. Uh, you know, you know, the work he always has put in uh, throughout the years and, uh, <clears throat> you know, with, with Nolan being gone, being a big uh, a run producer, right? I think Ryan, um, kind of everybody knew that he, he had to step up into that, uh, into that role a little bit, you know, and driving some runs and because we know he can and he knows he can. Um, and he's just doing a great job of cutting down the strikeouts. Um, he's doing a fantastic job of putting the barrel on the ball. And we all know what can happen when he does that. Uh, it's going to go a long way. And that's what you're seeing. Great. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. I would go to Noah and then finish up with Larry. Noah, go ahead. One last one for you that I just thought of. Um, since I believe this is only your second time coming into a game as a pinch hitter or defensive replacement this year, is there any different mindset that you have coming to the plate since you're just – coming into the game and you've been cold for six, seven, eight innings? No, I did it a lot. Um, you know, the last couple of years, did it a lot. You just got to stay ready. Um, you you got to know that you're going to get into the game at some point and know it's going to be a big spot. Right. So I think, especially here, a lot of close ball games, um, you got to always be ready. And, and we, we do a good job of, you know, hitting all, all the, all the bench guys hitting, hitting in the cages, just, just staying loose and, and, and being ready to take a big at bat. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. We'll finish up with Larry Patrick. Larry, go ahead. Yes, uh, Garrett, uh, you know, your game, you know, hitting the ball in the gaps, uh, running with a band in around the bases and things. When you do hit a home run, uh, is your mindset the next time you come to, to the plate to try to stay more within yourself and not be swinging for the fences or is that a problem for you? Uh, I, I don't, I don't try to hit home runs. Uh, I try to hit the ball hard, um, uh, cap to gap. Um, uh, so home runs don't really, it would be, it would be bad if I started to try to hit home runs. I guess I'll just say that. So no, the answer is no, I don't, uh, um, uh, I just try to just stay short to the ball and, and, and put a good swing on it. And tell us a little bit about that home run tonight. I mean, that was, you know, that was a towering drive to center field. You feel that's one of the hardest hit home runs you've, you've had. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I don't know the numbers on it. Um, but um, yeah, that, I, I think I got up both cheeks into that one for sure. Okay. Thanks Garrett. Yeah. All right. I think that's all the questions we have. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you.
Thank you, everyone. It's going to do it uh, for us post game from here from Oracle Park. We'll be back tomorrow. You're not the missing.